Hello, hello. No need to wait, Nicole. I'm here. We are starting. Hype, hype, hype. I have a cat in my lap. She's very, she's very, uh, very cuddly tonight. How's it going? I just finished my podcast. So my, my mic was already set up, so I figured I might as well stream. Um, and it didn't take very long at all to set up my camera and all this other stuff. So that's good. How's it going? I didn't, you know, I didn't watch a lot of, um, what's it? Is it Danny? Dan? The other guy who is streaming tonight, I, I popped in very briefly. Please get emotes. Dave, um, I also don't want to be spoiled for the main game too much. So I think he's playing the real game or no, maybe he's playing user levels. Um, anyway, why, why are you being like that cat? Come on. So uh, yeah, how you doing? I know a lot. I know I've done a stream already today and I've got one tomorrow. I'm starting to do too many streams. Um, and I know other folks are streaming tonight, but uh, the Kickstarter is ending in 36 hours, last I checked. And um, there is a contest, so if you post a video, then you get entered to win a free game. So I figured I figured I would do that. You're happy with the too many streams? The worst thing that happens is nobody watches. So hopefully I sound okay. I'm going to start the cart and... No, oh, that green screen didn't look good. All right, so demos... Demos. It's probably under selections. No, it's not in there. Where is it? It's in there here, I guess. I know I have it on here. Project Blue Kickstarter demo. You have Ren playing Cave Story. Okay. Is is he almost done with the game? Yeah, I um I wanted to check in on streams, but I was putting the spud to bed and then I had my podcast and I think I did okay and uh, it's like an interview on um, on Orphan Black so that was fun and it was funny because uh, his last question was oh so so Heli tells me that you're into retro games like what's that all about so then I was talking about live streaming and in my head I was like I'm gonna live stream as soon as I'm done with this podcast all right, so let's start this game. I played a little bit of the demo before, um, but not all of it. So I actually don't even know how much of it there is. And this will probably be a, a, a light stream again tonight, too, because I need to get some sleep. I was up very early. MT, hey, how you doing? Good luck. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty hard. I played a little bit of it. It's pretty hard, but I like it. I like it so far. And I was just about to say this, this art is beautiful. Hey, Adam, how you doing? So how does this audio sound compared to my voice? Sound okay? Oh, he had a review copy. That's cool. I did not get a review copy on this one. I, uh, which is fine because I didn't have that much time this month to play anyway. Um, but I, you know, I, I got spoiled because I got a review copy of Any Escape, and I got a review copy of Raleigh. And I was like, now I'm in. I'm in the homebrew scene. But uh, Project Blue, I just have the demo like the plebs. <laughs> fancy, so fancy. All right, I'm going to start it. So I'm just going to do normal. I forget if she put a custom mode in here, if there's a custom game in here. I think there is. She put a cust she put custom levels in. So uh, anyway, let's do it. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Yeah, let me know if the audio is off or anything else is off. Subject B has escaped. Evacuation in progress. I like this grungy, this this grungy style, Data Lab. All right, so we're in it. 
And the controls are so cool in this. They just feel really good. I was definitely getting some... Uh, some uh, Battle Kid flashbacks, though. My, I might be a little bit traumatized by Battle Kid. They said the same thing. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to play the sequel one day, but there's a reason why I haven't purchased it yet. But yeah, the controls are feel, feel pretty tight. And I think, I don't think there's, I don't know if there's a map or something, but I'm not sure exactly where I'm going yet. <laughs> You're traumatized. Her artwork. Yeah. Yeah, her artwork is amazing. Just this, this the um, well, just the screenshot she's been posting. I'm so excited that this is available. I remember playing the uh, original demo, which I still have on on this EverDrive, um, a couple years ago, and thinking that it was really really cool. I really want to play Halcyon as well, which I guess isn't. I don't know when that's going to be out. I have no idea what those things do. These little chips. And the music is pretty neat as well. I think I'm supposed to stay up there because I need to jump across. I might be wrong about that. And this has the same sort of the single screen, um, no scrolling thing that that, oh, I guess I can't do that. Okay. That battle kid does. Wait, hold on. Oops. Okay, I guess I'm going over here. <laughs> Utterly shocked at how he took down Cleo. Who, me? The way I took down Cleo? <laughs> that was awful. I still remember, like, Ren, Ren being so gleeful when I walked into that room it was immediately destroyed okay, I'm go this way. oh Dave oh he beat her he beat her in 20 minutes like the first time through okay I need to see that because it took me a lot longer than that I'm not good at um, I'm really not good at recognizing patterns which is kind of a shame for someone who likes Nintendo games as much as I do I guess I need these, but I don't know. Oh no. Death. Very sad. Wait, where am I though? How did I end up here? Is this the screen that was, did that catch count as, oh, that's interesting. I remember the last, the furthest that I made it. Hi, Ellen. Franken Graphics is here. Hello. Oh, he can't save his Twitch VODs. Oh no, that's annoying. I didn't know that was a rule. I did not know that was a rule. Okay, so this is not my first playthrough of the demo because I played it briefly before. So I know that these are evil lasers that are going to kill me. They're also really, really cool. And I missed that thing that I don't know what it's for. And you'd think you'd be able to shoot that and destroy these, but no. Um, but I haven't played much of this. This is like second playthrough of the game, of the demo. Cool. Well, I did tag her in my tweet because it was like, I hope she's. Well, I want I want to be considered for the, <laughs> for the free game, even though I'm backing this thing. But um, also, I figured she'd be around. I'm sure you're very relieved that the 36 hours in 36 hours the campaign will be over because you've been putting a lot into this and I know there's still a lot of work yet to go but I've been very impressed with how the campaign has been run in general um, I know how hard these things can be oh look at that but wait there looks like there's a power up there okay see I haven't gotten this far before oh, I can't get to the thing <laughs> uh, oh, I can get to it. Nice. Okay. 
That's awesome. I don't think I realized that you could build up quite that much momentum from it. So is this, what is that? It's not, what kind of power up is this? What can I do? Oh, I've got, oh, I have extra powerful shots, okay. Cool. Uh, Arn Poli, how's it going? Yeah, big jump, big jump. This is much nicer than uh, Adventure Island. <laughs> No, maybe I have gotten this far before. Okay, 1A. So that thing's gonna drop. Yes. Oh, yeah, I can't get that. Oh, okay. Jeez. It's all trial and error with the campaign. Lots of firsts. Well, you've been doing great. And I'm, I'm glad the campaign is doing really well, too. I'm very excited to get a... Uh, an enamel pin. Yikes! Yeah, I mean, this is exactly the kind of game that I like. Um, ooh, ow! Bad news. There are so many homebrew games coming out that I unfortunately cannot support every single one of them, at least not for the cartridge games. But if there's a brand new platformer coming out, chances are I'm gonna pony up the money for that. <laughs> the first time your art will be made into a pin. That's very cool. Yeah, I um, I really only decided to do it today when I saw your tweet about the... I forgot about the contest or the giveaway. Um, so I had been thinking about streaming this. Oh no, what am I doing? Oh. I'd been thinking about streaming this and then I was like, eh, lots of other people streamed it. It's probably not, not that big a deal. I'm not going to boost the signal that much. Um... And others have, have played the full game and, and not just the demo. But then I saw the reminder about the contest and the game. The, the campaign's ending soon. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'll pop on the stream tonight. The other th thing being, oh crap, yikes. Okay, that's no good. The other thing being, I, I recently um, streamlined my my setup so that it's a little easier to just plug in and get going. Can I can I get can I get going? <laughs> What? what do I do? What? Huh. Hmm. Really? I was like in there a second ago, wasn't I? Okay, let's try that again. That's weird. Huh. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh! <laughs> awesome. Very nice. Um, making making the game is an excuse to make some pins. You, there are probably easier ways to make pins. Yeah. Hey, Donnie Phillips. How are you? Welcome. Good job on this game, both of you, all three of you, with your with your RMT. Yeah, the, the 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 game looks great. Credits give you extra lives. Okay, that's why I'm collecting them. Thank you coins okay well then that's useful plus it gives you something to collect right yeah and uh, yeah as good as it looks at him it also just like the controls are really really tight so when I mess up it's because I am an idiot Oops, great. Ow. 
Could use a few more hearts. And fewer lasers. <laughs> that was fast. Oh, you've got a <laughs> you've got a sense of when the controls are, are working. That's good. I'm gonna continue. How much control do you have over jump height? Hey Thomas. Um, a lot as it turns out. So this is just a normal jump. And then if you I guess get a running start, then you jump that high. So the physics, the physics of the game are, are really pretty good. Oh, but also you can do like a little hop, which is always really nice when you can, if the longer you hold it, the higher you jump. That's a really nice animation with the hair. Am I going backwards? No, I think this is you. Yeah, sorry, I'm not as good a player as Dave, but what I lack in skill, I make up for in persistence. I don't want that hard. Oh, okay, you can't clear that. I guess you can't really duck or anything. I am going backwards. Uh oh, was there a was there a um, was there a light was there a glitch? I know I saw a a bug that somebody posted on on Twitter, but it's kind of nice to actually be able to do some some beta testing through this with the demos. All right, I'm going backwards. But then how did I get to that other area? Am I lost already? I was supposed to go up that ladder, wasn't I? Come on, you can do it. I like that little flashing antenna. I think I'm, I'm just lost. Hey, Genario. Welcome. Oh, I'm just as good. I thought you were saying I was going the wrong way, so I went back. <laughs> uh. Oh, Renaissance is is very very good. No, that's okay. No worries. <laughs> well, thankfully, that's kind of my my whole uh, my whole thing. <laughs> it's like I don't know how to play these games. I'm gonna figure it out. Okay. I think the continue actually just dropped me back at the beginning of the stage. Is what happened. That's why this all looks familiar. have checkpoints. Oh, I'm happy you're not working tonight as well. You've been working real hard. The um you know the design of this game reminds me of and it's a very different it's a very different game. It's just hitting a particular vibe for me. There's this game that I really liked when I was a kid um, that I played on the PC called uh, Degeneration. I don't know if you guys have played that one, um, but it's essentially it's an isometric view um, puzzle game, and this is kind of reminding me of that a little bit, just because of all the machines I think and the lasers and stuff like that. Um, you can actually get they remade it recently. Ooh, that was close. Um, the remake apparently isn't as good, but I keep meaning to buy the uh, the original version on the Switch. Oh, uh, see ya. Good night, Luke.
the the whole feature about being able to add like your own custom levels back onto the ROM is like really impressive. Like I know there have been. Um... Whoa. There have been level editor things in the past. Like, I know you can get a level editor for um, the incident and probably also for uh, um, Spookatron, but you couldn't get those back onto the cart, really, so that's really neat. I'm wondering if I have an old flashboard from Infinite NES Lives Lives, um, and I don't know if it'll be compatible with it, but. I may, I may get a new one at some point. I only have the fl the Famicom board, so it can fl oh, okay. it can flash. Um, it can dump ROMs from NES games. I think that's all it can do. And I guess it can probably transfer them as well. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, and Adam is a game designer um, and a writer for games, so he knows of what he speaks. Yep. Yeah, you can get this in a ROM format. Um, I think it's supposed to be... Is there like a PC release too? Yeah, I, I chickened out. <laughs> so I want that heart, but I don't want to die. Okay. I don't want to die getting the heart. Did that thing's f shot block my shot? Okay. Oh, that should still work. Oh, very cool. I also have um, I have NES Maker, but I've never actually done anything with it. I'd really like to to learn some some NES development. But I haven't got a huge amount of time. Very nice music as well, very atmospheric. Oof. I'm pretty sure that green goop is bad for you. Oops. Dropping down onto evil robots, also bad for you. Oh, so stop doing it. But I need to get in there because I think that thing triggers that thing down there. So let's figure out how to do this. Oh, okay. Just don't don't jump too high. There we go. Oh, that's no good. Make a book writing simulator. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. Uh, yeah, I saw you're working on a. You're gonna. Oh God, no. Oh crap. Oh my God. Ah. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Sorry, you're working on like a, a, a player's guide for this thing as well. And I'm sure you're an excellent writer in your own right, but if you... Oh, crap, don't, do, don't stand there. No! No, 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 I'm doomed. Nuts. Okay. Um, anyway, if you need help writing and editing, feel free to reach out to me. Um, okay, I'm about to do the same stupid thing again, aren't I? Okay. Oh, oh no, oh! Ah, bummer. The bots can use the jump pads.
Oop. Whoa. Okay. That works. few more and then I'll get a life. Oh! <laughs> Lasered! Yeah, the, uh, the PTSD. <laughs> Are there, I guess there unlimited continues? Oh, good. Here's a checkpoint. Yes. Whoops. Jump too high. Try to make objects interact. That's pretty neat. Whoops. I'm not hitting the jump button. This is why I'm not jumping high enough. There we go. Got some similar like battle kit strategies where you can reset the room. stuff to keep track of on the screen here. Okay, just gonna go. Alright, so I can't go through that. That's interesting. Oh. Didn't know you could do that. Oh yeah, Antoine. Antoine's awesome. Joe's also nice, from what I can tell. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. How do I open that thing up? Yeah, and, and D-Generation had a lot of those types of things where you have to trigger something to open a laser. Or turn off a laser, rather. 
Uh... Yep, now we're starting to get into some of the Battle Kid. <laughs> oh, the sweet memories. You can't shoot on the ladders. That slime is very slimy looking. It looks sort of glowing. That's pretty neat. Oh, hello. Okay. You can only shoot them when they jump. Oh boy. Yep. slime trail is pretty neat. That's neat too. Look at that. Oh, what the? No, what? You've been shooting me this whole time? I didn't notice that. Okay. So I'm just gonna go down here. This is not really an indicator of like when you hit a new checkpoint though, huh? Wow. trick with the ladders. Oh, uh, like, yeah. That's, that's neat. Shoot and grab it again. Oh! Right. That is pretty clever. Which comes into play here, doesn't it? Unless I just take the cowardly right way out. She kind of looks like a Funko Pop. You should make a Funko Pop. Oh, that'd be cool. Some challenges might even be easier for shooting from the ladders. Yeah, that makes sense. Belts. Gotta have conveyor belts. Oh, oh man. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I'm in here now. <laughs> That was a bad move. <laughs> You're waiting for the bats. 
Good point. There's got to be a bat in here somewhere. Maybe a robot bat. Man, you start with two hearts. I don't think you actually go any faster if you hold down B. You just get a higher jump, though. Okay. That's really insidious. Press an alien guts level. <laughs> and this takes you back quite a ways. Mm. No. It's like between a robot and a laser. <laughs> Fire or not. Ah. Oh boy. Whew. That's a heck of a thing. Well, you've got your hands full there, MT. One of the tricky things for me with Battle Kid was realizing that I don't have to kill everything. Especially since they respawn. I need to take a moment to just study the rooms when I get into them instead of like jumping around. I hate those silver ones. Ouch. Nothing like having the developers in the room with you to give you some pro tips. I'm not even sure why I'm trying to kill this thing. Just 
because I can. And that sad little slime trail fades away. Hey, game beaters! Hey, Dan. You love the silver ones. <laughs> well, if you have it already, don't forget to, to back this. Silver ones are being used very strategically. <laughs> of course. Um, hey, Pre Pie Jacker. Famcom cards, I think. Ah. I'm just killing those because I'm angry. Oh, and they give me credit that I cannot reach. Lovely. Um, flame barrel. Orange flame barrel. Colonel J, how are you? Welcome, folks. I mean, I'm running this on an EverDrive N8 right now, so. Oh, I'm sure it can be speedrun. Ah, okay. Don't run into the room until you've seen everything in it. This reminds me of like a smaller form factor like Journey to Silius, which I've ended up really loving. Like Battle Kid only more fair. <laughs> that seems that seems to be the case. I mean Battle Kid is different because Battle Kid you basically respawn like immediately. And this has a different this has hit points and you know, I know you can do hit points in Battle Kid too if you play it on easy mode, but Battle Kid, Battle Kid's hard, I mean, no, less sudden death, yeah, no score system. I had a bad time with that jump. 
<laughs> it's like jumping over every single one of my shots. How about we just avoid you? So like, I could just go, but I want that heart, but I'm probably gonna take damage trying to get the heart. Oh, yep, so that, great. And then I'm gonna die. Called it. <laughs> Will there be a video game journalist difficulty option? Oh, that's, that's not, that's not fair. <laughs> Come on. The, uh, the URL to the campaign should be in the description of this video, so click on that if you want to, um, if you want to buy it. Oh, does that, that, uh, I don't know if I have anything that could open that. If it is an entrance. I have been shooting blocks like that. Welcome back. I wish I had tea. I didn't have time to make tea before my podcast, so. Alright, I'm not going to get that heart because I, I died last time trying to get that heart. I need to be better at this before I can do that. Game Genie codes will be out soon. Who's the? Oh, who is that guy who does that? Um. Yeah. Which is cool. I hardly really ever look those up, but I I just found some Game Genie codes for Adventure Island, which I'm very happy to have found. Um. Oh, all the way back here, huh? Okay. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Spaced out on that. So those lasers are really hard to see the um, the cannons or emitters or whatever because they're blended in with the background. So that's probably why I keep running into those. Game Genie kid. <laughs> I never used Game Genie. I had a Game Genie. I still have a Game Genie. I never really use it much, but um, I now see the value of it for a busy parent and adult who doesn't have time for these things. See, these these are just different colored blocks, I think. I don't think there, there's anything special about them unless you get some kind of different weapon. Is there a lot of delay on button presses and input registering? Oh, that's delay from the capture card and the microphone. You're, yeah, the, you're, you, there's no delay when I'm playing it at all. Um, it's very responsive when I'm playing it. It's just, yeah, it's a delay from the, from the get capture. So don't worry about that. I wouldn't be able to play this if I had that much delay on it at all. Um, just, just in case you're curious, I'm running it on a retro USB AVS. So, and it's a wired controller. Yeah, it's a cap card.
yeah, you can hear the controller. Um, don't don't judge it based off of that. When I first started streaming, I was listening to um, I was listening to the delay through my computer on my micro on my headphones, and it was messing me up a little bit when I was playing. No, I wouldn't be able to play this if there was a delay like that. I would be canceling my Kickstarter uh, <laughs> pledge right now if there was a delay on the game like that. <laughs> That's not true. But I would probably be saying that there was an issue here. Yeah, that laser blends in there too. Uh, see ya, Adam. Thanks for popping in. Tomorrow night I'm playing Mystery Quest. Don't know anything about it. Tool assisted long plays. Oh, neat. I only have one VHS recording of me beating Battletoads, but I can't find it. Consider delaying the microphone webcam fee to make it match the game. Yeah, I should. I, sh I could mess with that. It, it doesn't bother me. It only bothers anybody who hears the controller. And unfortunately, my, my current setup, um, it's not always the case, but my microphone is right, my, my controller is right in front of the microphone, so it's kind of annoying that way. It is um, morning where Adam is, I think. But that's a good point. I should figure out what that delay is, I guess, and I can, I can ch fix that. <laughs> well, I'm going to beat Battletoads again. I'm practicing the game again. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's a good point, Pie Jacker. Um, I feel like the delay is close enough that my reactions track to it pretty well, but I know in some some streamers that I've watched, um, I can tell early. I mean, these guys will know better because they see me die all the time <laughs> in video games. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, it, it tracks pretty closely. Never bothered. I'm just lucky that I'm just glad that it's working at all. So I'm always hesitant to change any settings because I'm worried it's going to mess it up. Getting sleepy now. Oh, uh, yeah, no worries. I don't know. I'm not sure how long I'm going to stream. I don't know how long this demo is. I won't step too late. Because I did get up very early today. See ya, Piejacker. Thanks for popping in. I, uh, I stream Wednesday nights, NES games every Wednesday night, and tomorrow's Mystery Quest. Hey, Jack Haberdasher. The plot for this game. I think it's it's Survive? Brigand. I do not know... I did not know... your alternate name. Oh no! Oh, Mr. Dash. 
I thought I thought I died there before because I just had um, not enough health. But in fact, it's a death. Oh, okay. All these different Twitch names and YouTube names. <laughs> Sleepy, honestly. You get a bit of an invincibility frame there. That green sludge. It's bad news. You could change your name on YouTube, can't you? All right, what's going on in here? Uh, lasers. <laughs> Sargon. Is your friend actually named Sargon, or is Sargon also a Star Trek fan? You do work a billion hours a day. Uh, here's the plot. You play as a street orphan who's escaping from the facility of a corporation that has abducted you for experimentation. Trying to exact revenge, bring down the think tanks of the boardroom directorate, owners of Omnicorp. Any game that uses the word directorate is uh, is a okay in my book. Uh, so you gotta find safe spots, just like in Battle Kid. Oh, that's tricky. Okay. Wow, it's, is this a new screen? <laughs> right, so that goes there. Oh, no, no, no. Was 
like, I'll be safe up here. Nope. Oh, a warning sign. Something dangerous. Oh, crap. What are you doing? <laughs> Something dangerous must be in here. <laughs> They're literal tanks. <laughs> okay. Ow. The old press A and B at the same time trick. Ooh. I saw the video of this on Twitter, the uh, the rain. It's very cool. I don't like the look of those things up there, though. It looks like a trap. Is this going to fall on me? Can I even make this jump? Uh, can I make that jump? I'm going to go over here. What's this? Oh, wait, hold on. Whoa, wait, I need, oh, no, no, crap. I wanted to go back out to get the heart. <laughs> oh, no, crap. I guess that was the end boss. <laughs> oh, man. Harsh. Your computer crashed. Oh, man. That's a bummer. Welcome back. I died a lot. I got to some kind of, I think, stage boss here, and then I died, like... I couldn't leave the room that I thought I could run out of the door again, but I couldn't I couldn't leave. I thought that that jump over there was a trap. Turns out I was the trap all along. Well, you just missed it, but I'm going to try to get back up to it. I thought it was a save room at first because it was like this glowing thing in the middle of the room and I was like, oh, a save point. And then, and then it started moving and attacking. So it was the opposite of a save point. Oh, that was the first time I got hit there. Flimsy. Um, did the game play you or did you play yourself? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I feel that 
Nicole. I just came off of my month, my six weeks of, of writing deadlines. And I'm playing all the games all the time. There's lots of, you know, chores I should be doing around the house. But I'm just trying to get through every day. because I hold down the B button even when I don't think I need to. Boss idea, save room mimic. Yep. I had this idea the other day because uh, Hungry Gurria was taught, was playing Castlevania and she was like really relieved when she beat Dracula and the red orb appeared because um, she was like, oh, please don't be another form of Dracula. And it was like, what if the fourth form of Dracula was a red orb, and you touch it and you die. And then I was like, I need to make a game. Oh, oh. that was close. Yeah, you get into one of those rooms of Super Metroid, and it's just a, ma a machine that's gonna kill you. Whoa, Jack Haberdasher, go for go for it. Good for you. That's awesome. Just the whip. Did did you record that? Because it didn't happen otherwise. Because that could be like I beat Castlevania without hitting anything. Awesome. I'll have to check that out. So now I know I need to have enough hearts for that boss fight. Ow. Just figure I'd see if there's anything up there. And you have witnesses. So there's not gonna be a re ouch. Not gonna be a repeat of Billy Mitchell here. Yeah, this is the this is the new demo, right? Ow! Oh, oh boy, crap! <sighs> Yikes! I guess the B button doesn't actually do anything when you're jumping. Come to think on it. you were running. So press for time. Oh, uh, good night, Nicole. True, a fourth form of Dracula would be would be bad. So this is we're we're about to hit the boss. Check out the rain. So I guess I can get over there, but I still don't like the look of those things up there. Guess I just gotta go for it. Oh, okay, that wasn't so bad. All right, so jump back over. All right, we'll see what's what in here. See? I thought it was a save room. Not a save room. Huh, OK. 
Okay. And then I, oh, there we go. Oh boy. Nuts. This is not good. Knockbacks. Okay. Not much health either. Pretty cool fight. Knockback should be left in the 80s and 90s. Be, she must have some Belmont blood in her. Oh, nuts. Oh, great. Any wall meat? Nope. I mean, certain games I feel. Oh, man. Okay. Certain games I feel like it, it, it fits. Knockback and Mega Man is pretty rough, though. can get it the next time maybe so close why did I wait nuts Contextual not back. Yeah. The 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 damage that those enemies take is ridiculous. Especially when you're playing Castlevania 3 and they've just like added damage to the earlier enemies. Just to make it harder. Can 
be at a major disadvantage here if I even make it up to that boss. Okay, maybe I'll just kill myself and start over. Let's just do that. Don't really get many hits. Okay, I see it. I think you're supposed to jump in sync with the thing and then it's easier to shoot it. I get the patterns eventually. Dracula's fight in Dracula X was just punishing. <laughs> Castlevania 4 was not hard until the boss fight, I think. Like, like the final boss fight. Otherwise, I thought it was pretty easy, Castlevania. But the Dracula fight just took a lot out of me. I logged into Kickstarter and backed it. Good, good job, Dan. Thank you. I like supporting these games. <laughs> Nothing like wait. Well, you didn't wait till last minute. You still have what, 35 hours? I think you. I think you'll dig this game. of pits of water and goo. sworn I triggered that. Oh man, okay. Mm, that was 
things unnecessary. Slime trail hit me? <clears throat> well, some games I pledge right away because I know, and then some, some of them I'm like, eh, let me think about it some more. Probably be like a uh, an influx of support like in the last hour or so. Come on! Ridiculous. All right, almost there. Oh, why? All right, thank you for that checkpoint, though. Come on, take it easy. That was an evil pit. Really? I lost all my hearts. I had a whole bunch of extra hearts, too. Darn it. Alright, here we go. I want to stay in the middle, I think. D zone. Oh man, there's more. Okay. <laughs> Boss idea number two evil pit. <laughs> you walk into a room and there's just a pit, and then maybe it just expands. <laughs> All right. I didn't know there's going to be more. I thought it was going to end right there. But let's see what's here. Okay. That was a, that was a good fight. I liked it. This is an ice level, kind of. Platforms, moving platforms. <laughs> of course, I don't know what happens here. Gonna kill me? Nope, it's air. I thought it was a laser or something. No ice physics. It's just that it looks frozen, but that I think was just set cement. It's not ice. That would be extra evil. Once again, I would go and cancel my pledge. No, I'm kidding. Oh, see? I, I'm not paying attention to like this crap that's around here. Very nice. 
Nice melodies, lasers. Oh. Shoot. Wow, this is amazing. Holy cow. And a buzzsaw, because why not? Where am I going? I just came from that other section, so... Hmm, I'm gonna have to go back. I'm not sure why parachutes explode, but I'll take it. So going over here, I should have shot them. Um, hmm. So we're going down. I guess I should have just dropped down. to that thing? <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Alright. I can play for a little while longer. Self-destructive parachutes are good for the environment. It's true. if this is a thing or it's a thing it kills you hurts you Whoop. I 
End of demo. All right, well. Oh, it's just gonna keep doing that. Very, very nice, guys. This is awesome. Now, is the... Are these stages actually in the game, or are they just for the demo? But uh, that's awesome. I really... It was nice to get a little bit of the next section as well, just to kind of get a, a flavor of how the game progresses. Um, thank you so much. This was really cool. I, I had a really good time playing this. Uh, it's a fantastic game. If I hadn't already backed it, I'd go and back it now. Um, and certainly suggest anyone who's watching this before the Kickstarter ends that they go ahead and support it. Get a ROM, get a cartridge, get a complete in box game. I need to check because I know there's some new tiers in there, um, which will probably tempt me. But uh, anyway, yeah, it was a blast. I'm going to... Yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, Dan. Um, and I will be back tomorrow night streaming Mystic Mystery Quest on the NES. Mystic Quest is a different game that isn't available yet. Um, and I'm here every Wednesday night. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. I've got a cat who's like reaching out for me. Hi, sweetie. Hello. Yeah. So good job, Ellen and Donnie and MT, if you're still around. And if not, if you see this later on, then, then you know, Awesome. Congratulations and good luck for the, the rest of the campaign. Hey, Arn Poli, thanks for hanging out. And uh, have a, you have a good night as well. I will uh, catch you guys later on. All right, take care. Bye. There's a uh, Kickstarter link in the description, by the way. So go ahead and, and uh, click on that and support the game. All right, take care.